Okay. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, happy New Year. Uh, let's all be happy and free and uh, full and without any... I don't know what to say. Happy New Year. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while since my last video, but uh, I kind of uh, didn't want to continue with the format of my video, so I wanted to tweak it a little bit. I didn't fully figure out what exactly I want to change, how I want to change it. So in the next couple of videos, next couple of weeks, you're gonna see different type of shit. Maybe you're gonna see the same shit, but if I like it, you're gonna see it. So here we go. Monday Night Raw, the first Monday Night Raw of 2023 starts with a bang. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone talks about it and there is nothing that's changing. There's nothing that can be changed, but can we talk about the three hours raw for a second? Thank you. That's it. I just wanted to point that out. In theory, if we had a two hour show instead of three hour show, we could have not had the bananas shtick that happened at the beginning of the show with the Usos and the bloodline invading the show and after that Adam Pierce making random mass matches just to fill up the night. We can all admit that if we had two hour show that could have just not be there. A few things that I want to point out throughout the show that uh, were just awesome. Bianca and Alexa's match. To be honest with you I was not really invested in the match itself. I'm really invested in Alexa as a character since Bray Wyatt returned, I'm really curious what's gonna happen with her. And we kind of saw. At the match, she flipped out because she saw a couple of people wearing merchandise and the Titan Tron flipped for a second, showing Bray Wyatt's logo. I don't know if it's his logo even. It's something related to him, but she flipped out. She uh, punched the referee a couple of times. She punched Bianca a couple of times, there was blood. Can we point out that this role was having a lot of blood? It felt a little bit like AW. I didn't like that. Minus. Down. Okay, we are not doing the downs and ups anymore, but I, I just wanted to say that. There was a lot of blood in this show. The next match as well, Elias and Solo. There was blood. Why? There, there was no need for blood. Maybe uh, I'm not excluding the fact that they, they actually hurt each other, but this is not the point of the whole thing. About the Elias and Solo thing, the whole match reminded me of, uh, I think it was last year or before two years, Jeff Hardy versus Elias, Symphony of Destruction match. Why are we doing this? Why don't we just have no disqualification match, just with chairs, tables? Why should we include uh, guitars and drums and... ha. <laughs> I get it why, because Hardy was there and we needed to highlight him, I, I get it, exciting. Anyway, after that we had the second match that was necessary, Usos and Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens and the Street Profits, the highlight of the match, you're gonna be surprised, the highlight of the match was that Montes Ford was worried about his wife. I'm. Uh, I'm touched by the fact that he's caring. Something tells me that it's not right if this is the only thing I remember from that match. Gable? It's not uh, Gable Stevens. <laughs> I got you there. Chad Gable versus Dexter Loomis. I'm actually, I'm actually a fan of Dexter, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. In my opinion, this is the, the, the next generation Undertaker but he needs a little bit of a development uh, to his character, but I, I really like Dexter's character, so I'm looking forward for that. And uh, we witnessed this, <laughs> which was the greatest thing uh, this year so far. <laughs> After that, we had uh, Becky versus Damage Control. <laughs> Wait a second. It was Mia Yim and Becky versus Damage Control. It was okay. It's fine. I don't even remember what happened. But after that, we had the main event, Theory versus Seth Rollins. And I, I, 
And honestly, I think this is a match worth watching. Like, honestly, if you're not a wrestling fan, uh, I don't I don't care who you... Actually, do, do you know yourself? Do you know who you are? I don't care who you are. Uh, just go and watch it because I think it's worth watching. Uh, these guys put an amazing performance. This was an amazing story that was highlighting the knee of Seth. It was amazing, it was heartbreaking, it was devastating, it was exciting, it was awesome, it was everything you want for a match and it was on Raw, it was not even on a pay-per-view, it made Austin Theory uh, good, no, it, he's of course not good, but he looked good in the ring, Set was of course amazing, it was heartbroken, heartbreaking, Sorry for my poor English, but it was heartbreaking because Seth uh, broke his knee. I don't know if it's kayfabe or real. It was amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Overall, uh, the score of Raw is 4.5 out of 5. That's fair. Uh, the only complaint was that last minute match with the Bloodline. That's it. We... Yeah. Uh, uh. Why do I rate Raw all of a sudden, instead of just saying up or down? Because I can. Because this is my show. This is my show. You're lying! Get me out of here. How, how do I... How do I... How, how do I turn that off? I totally forgot how to turn the camera off.